Hey, first of all, good morning. Uh, I want to give everybody just a simple word of encouragement this morning, man. And I'm going to tell y'all, uh, uh, talk about a little bit of uh, R-E-S-P-E-C-T uh, uh, and, and a little bit of leadership this morning. And uh, if you dare to lead in your family or in your group uh, or, or whatever. And, and, and I, I just have a concern, and I know a lot of people out here dealing with this. I don't even know how to set up for this conversation uh, just talking about uh, uh, respect or whatever. And I know uh, at the age of 21, you get uh, you can legally legally drink. And the question I had this morning, but can you legally drink uh, around your parents or in, 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 your, in your house? Because, you know, uh, it's funny how society... It's trying to condition people that's dug in into their uh, parenting, into their structure, and the discipline that they have set up, uh, trying to get you to conform to bad behavior. And, you know, uh, I'm just talking about, let me start out with me personally. I was raised by, you know, a wonderful mother, and I was raised by wonderful grandparents and great-grandparents. And I don't care how old I got, <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, have, not even think about having a drink around my granddad, let alone um, have exercise certain language around him, cussing and all, all of this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. And I'm noticing that younger people are getting more comfortable uh, cursing around us as if it's okay, as if we're there here and they're equal and it just don't fly with me and i got some older nieces uh that's in their 30s uh or whatever and i got some people uh that, i got some cousins that's just two or three years younger than me two or three years that's younger than me and uh and, and real respectful and talking about yes sir and no sir uh, uh uh i got a cousin that's 40 years old be talking about some yes sir uh when, when we communicate just the respect that he have uh, that I'm an older cousin. And then here you got kids in their 20s uh, uh, or whatever can walk around and do what they want to do and say what they want to say. And I just want to encourage all parents, man, you do not have to conform to their behavior and their way of doing things if those are the boundaries that you set uh, with your relationship with them. Because uh, parenting is not a popularity contest and you don't have to be friends with them. Right? I, I didn't I didn't cuss around uh, my grandparents and, and and or whatever. If I say something around my mom, it's in the form of telling the story or telling her what somebody else said. But just out here cursing, I got older cousins that I, I got an uncle that I grew up with that's six years older than me, uh, and and I'm not gonna get the cussing around him because I have respect, and the respect is thrown out of the window because correction has come into question. You can't correct no more and do not allow these young people to manipulate you and make you think that you're the bad person for setting boundaries of things that have a negative effect on you. And they ain't going to speak to you. They don't have to speak to you. They don't have to talk to you. They don't do nothing for you anyway. They, I don't see no cash up coming in from a niece or a damn nephew. I see it going out, but I don't see it coming in and let them talk among themselves or whatever, and cuss and drink and get drunk and do whatever they want to do around somebody else, but you're not going to do it around me because I'd rather be respected than liked. <clears throat> and a lot of y'all out here are trying so busy to be friends with your adult kids and trying to be liked or whatever, and the minute they get comfortable or get a good a good margarita in their system or a good Long Island tea in their system, they start getting a little fly at the mouth and start saying anything because what what is it about our race or whatever, everybody do what they supposed to do until they get comfortable. Until they get comfortable, even on, on a damn job or whatever, you get somebody a, a job or whatever, and once everybody get comfortable, say, okay, she cool. Okay, he cool. All right, here's a, a grand opportunity of somebody being nice to me. Let me find a way to take advantage of it. Just a mindset. Man, I, I, I swear, I don't care what y'all say about old people. I don't care what y'all say about questioning parenting or whatever, I thank God for, for Uncle Thomas Smiley that lived in Cleveland, uh, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and Alan Bush that lived in Cleveland, Ohio, and Ernest Smiley, Birmingham, Alabama, and Maddie Smiley and Ada May Arm. Um, I thank God for them. I thank God for 
Delia Reed and Mary McElroy, my great grandmothers and Cherry Smiley, that 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 when dare allow me to do and say certain things. And that that comes into the man that I am. Try to carry myself respectfully. And I'm not perfect, but damn it, I take pride in being respectful and operating with a certain level of humility. And I think that young people have gotten too comfortable and too familiar and get to do and say whatever they want to say and then try to demonize you for demanding respect, the respect that you earn. And, and, that's, and that's what I wanted to talk about this morning. Do not allow these young people to challenge you in your discipline, in your structure. Stay strong and hold strong to your parenting principles because parenting is not a popularity contest. Make them be respectful. They're going to talk about you. They're going to talk about you like a dog. You Thank you. Got it going on because you're a manager at UPS and, and bougie this and bougie that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I make you put the chair back up to the table, why, why I got to be OCD? Why can't you be nasty and trifling for not putting the chair back to the table in which you found it? See, when they come in there with them little jokes or whatever, them them cousins with them, oh, you know, he, 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 he OCD. No, you're nasty because there wasn't no crumbs on the table when you sat down. That table was neat and clean and straight. And when you get to using, straightening back up like you found it, that's simple. That ain't OCD. And do not allow people to manipulate you. Do not allow these kids to manipulate you and you get comfortable enough and let them drink and smoke and do whatever you want to do at their house or whatever. Be willing to be, even if you have to be by yourself, it's okay. You just be confident in who you are and continue your structure, your discipline, and set your boundaries and don't let anything uh, negative go on around you that will have a negative effect on you. Be you. You are great. And your parents and great-grandparents and our great-grandparents did a wonderful job. Be who you are. And that's it. More Ricky Smiley Morning Show coming up.